My mouth was drooling over getting this repair. This is an iPhone 16 Pro Max screen replacement guide. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. And my friend dropped me off this phone that had a cracked iPhone 16 Pro Max screen. Let's remove the two P2 screws from the bottom before we heat up the screen for 10 minutes on a heater. While we heat up the screen, I want to introduce you to this video sponsor. Here we have Cell Helmets Bar Audio, the Mini Mag, and it connects on to your MagSafe, and it's a speaker, and it is quite amazing. You can set it up in many ways. Here's the part. This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max screen, and it is the Apple OEM version from MobileCentrics.com. You have to send them back the old screen when you're done with the repair. So we'll get it unpackaged here. I'll use my fine pointed tweezers to open it up. And then once we have it open, I'll show you what's inside. It looks like it's packaged very well as a set of screws for screws that have thread lock on them. And then also the screen itself. And it comes with the proximity sensor already installed. All right, got the heat screen heated up. Now we'll use our metal pry tool, our thin metal pry tool, and pry from the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to try a suction cup even though the screen is really cracked, but I highly doubt it will work because of how cracked it is. Enough of this. We'll grab our jimmy from iFixit and use the jimmy metal pry tool to pry off the screen like a crazy gorilla. And we'll get the screen pried off just because the adhesive is so hard to pry this thing off. They make it so water resistant that it's so hard to pry off. I tried to get my plastic pry tool underneath there, but I just couldn't get it underneath. So we ended up just using our metal pry tool all the way around the edges to pry it off. Because the screen's cracked so bad, we can't use the suction cup to get any lift on it. You're going to want to open it up from the right to the left. When you get to the top part, it's always the hardest and you'll want to work your tool around the corners to break it free. So then we can open it up from the right to the left. Remove these two Y triple zero screws in yellow. After you remove the brackets, you can grab out your plastic spudger and disconnect the screen and the proximity sensor using the flat end.
Perfect. Now we got the screen off and we'll take a look at it. And I wanted to let you know that you don't disconnect the battery to do this repair because you perform a force restart after you replace the screen. We're going to clean up the adhesive best we can with our adhesive removing tool and clean the edges so our adhesive will stick when we put a uh, new adhesive down. We may not get all the adhesive removed. It might not be as liquid proof as it was when it first was made. And I want to point out that you could spend a detailed amount of time trying to remove all the excess adhesive, but I just speed up the repair process by laying down the adhesive over top of the already peeled up stuff um, just to save some time and also um, I don't think that just clamping it would make it water resistant anyways. So we'll rub our tool around the edges of the adhesive that we laid down so that it will get a nice stick to it. And then we can pull off the uh, top layer of the adhesive and then we'll be able to lay the adhesive down perfectly. We'll grab out the Apple OEM screen here. And it comes with the proximity sensor pre-installed. If you do an aftermarket version of the screen replacement, you're going to have to remove the proximity sensor with alcohol and also a little bit of heat. And that isn't in this video. You'll have to find a different video that shows you how to remove it. It's just like all the other ones if you've done a screen replacement before. First, we'll connect on the screen. Then we'll connect on the proximity sensor. And the proximity sensor connection is a little bit hard to connect on and you just got to feel it connect with your finger. You're going to want to slide the brackets back on and grab your Y000 screwdriver and screw in the two screws holding down the proximity sensor and then the one that's holding down the screen connection. And then before we adhere it, we'll test it. To turn it on, you're going to want to perform a force restart, which you push and click the volume up bu button, the volume down button quick, and then click and hold the side button until you see that nice shiny Apple logo. Once the screen turns on, you'll want to make sure the phone is fully updated. Mine was fully updated, so I was able to go to general and check out my settings here and do finish and repair to pair the screen to the motherboard of the phone. Here's me configuring it after it restarted and repaired. You want to make sure you connect it to Wi-Fi or have access to Wi-Fi to pair, pair your uh, screen to your motherboard. All right, now we can pull the adhesive tabs and we finished. We tested to make sure it did phone call and the proximity sensor was functioning correctly and also to test if there's any touch defects and check the LCD, I mean OLED, for any little defects in it. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me motivate me to make more videos like these. And this one was one of my full length videos where it's not fully sped up like a lot of my other videos. And thank you again for watching. It's your